Welcome back. It is Toe of the Week. Another beautiful set of toes for the spring that match with the nails I did on Monday. Those fun sponging and stamping design I did, kind of like an animal print. Did this more to be a sporty look and the toes turned out just as cute. Take a look. Aren't those adorable? I love them. And I can't wait to show you Fashion Friday's outfit of the day because it just matches this whole look so good. And you'll understand why I'm calling it a sporty look when you see the outfit. So, but anyways, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and definitely give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying my videos and all of my keto stuff as well. I just love sharing that with you guys. So, anyways, Let's get started on this awesome toe design. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. A beautiful sponged look with pinks, kind of an animal print, and stamping. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Doing another beautiful toe design for the spring that always matches with a set of nails that I do on Monday and I follow with an outfit on Fashion Friday. So this look here is going to be more of a sporty look and you'll understand when you see the outfit why I went with what I went with. Here are the nails right here. I've just done a bunch of stuff with it with my stamping plate, my um, polish that's a liner polish. Just had a lot of fun with this one and you'll see, like I said, when you see the Fashion Friday outfit of the day. So now we're gonna match the toes with it. Now the big toe is the only one that I used my um, sponging with. The rest I just did freehand and I just did two colors for them, but this one is three colors and I'll go over and show you. I'm using all the same products I used in Monday's video, but I still like to show you guys. And my toes won't be showing in the video. I am wearing a closed toe shoe. Maybe I'll take them off and show you guys, but I still like to do them because like I said, with the weather getting better, you know, more of my designs are gonna show the toe, uh, the toes that I do. And then of course people live in other states that can do these. So I still like to show the toe designs. So I'm using all LA colors. This one here is a bright, beautiful, hot pink, and it's called Absolute. And then these two here are both called, believe it or not, pink bubbles, but they are both two different shades of pink. I have no idea what happened here. I don't know if the formula was off or what, but they are two totally different colors. This is more bubblegum-like. This is more of like a baby soft pink. It's so weird, but they're both called the same thing. So on the smaller toes, I'm using this one in the neon pink. That's what I did there and I did it freehand and then the big toe, I am using a makeup sponge I just get from the dollar store and I've just put the colors on. And you can see right there the different shades of pink, see? It's three different shades. It's so funny how they're called the same color and they're both from Dollar Tree, so I didn't understand that. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do there. And then I am going to be working with a stamping plate like I did on my nails on Monday. And it's going to be just the one plate. I used two plates when I did Monday's video because I did this design here and then I did the writing. Well, that was this plate here, number seven. I'm not gonna be working with this one because I'm only gonna be stamping the big toe. So I'm just gonna work with this one, which is 04. And it came with this collection I ordered online. That is the collection right there. And I got a bunch of them with it. And this is the one I'm gonna work with. I'm gonna pick some saying, um, there's so many different ones on here, and I'm going to put that on the big toe using the LA Colors black polish here called Circus, I believe, or Circuits. That's the one I'm going to use. I will use this scraper, which is the Born Pretty scraper, and the Born Pretty clear stamper I'm going to use to stamp on. And then the smaller toes, along with the big toe, kind of like I did the thumb, I'm going to put some lines in it with this uh, liner paint. Um, it's a polish and I get it from Sally's. So I'm gonna use that to put the lines in on the big toe and the baby toes. And then I don't think I showed this step in my Monday's video, but I'm gonna be using this. This is a holographic top coat. It looks like it's clear, but you see right there, there's all the holographic, and it says right on it to shake it up. So I'm gonna shake it up, put that over, 
leaves a beautiful glitter, but it doesn't take away from the design. That's what I love about it. And then um, when I'm all done, I will use the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. Both fat and the holographic um, Northern Lights I got from Sally's. So that is what the plan is. I am first going to get set up here and get ready to stamp the big toe. And I will show you how I'm doing that. And then I will also show you how I did this one freehand. Let me set up and I will be back. Okay, so for starters, we're gonna work with just these two colors and I'm gonna freehand on the small toe. Let me draw in and I will show you how I'm doing that. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the darker pink and just freehand this. Don't worry about if it gets on the skin, you can always take it off the skin, but just however you want, just go around. I just kind of went around to one side like that, kind of capping the end like that. And then I'll just use my finger real quick just to take that excess polish off there while it's still wet. And then I'm gonna go into the smaller or the lighter color and I'm just gonna go right over the top while it's still wet because then it mixes and it gives that look of kind of like the sponging I was doing. But then I don't have to sponge. Now you can small, you know, sponge small toes I have before, but I just like to do it freehand. It's just a little bit easier and go across and cap that. And I will be doing a second coat on this to make it a little bit darker. But that's how you do that. Then we're gonna go into the three colors on the sponge here. So now we'll get the three colors out. And I actually spun this last one, like sponged it like four times. So I'm just gonna show you guys like two of the times. So we're just gonna put the hot pink, whoops, right there, that hot, beautiful neon pink. And this bottle is running low. I definitely need to get another one of these. So let me just get a little bit more and show you. Okay, so put it there. And then I take the middle pink and I put some here and some up into this corner. And then the lightest one I'm gonna do in those other areas, one here, one there. So now it's ready to go and we're going to go ahead and sponge. Now, don't worry if you get it on the skin, I'm just gonna take it off with uh, Q-tips. So just go onto the foot and start to sponge. That's all you do. Just put it down and start to sponge around with the colors, making sure you get that bright neon going in there and then the other colors. Now it looks light at first and try to get into these corners really good because you can wipe it off the skin. That doesn't make a difference, but you don't wanna have any you know, part of the toe not showing and then cap the end. Now you see that first coat isn't dark at all. So now we're gonna go in again and I'm gonna start over again on this sponge. And if you get these sponges wet, I get them wet, they work even better. So you might wanna just spray it with like a mister, just mist it. So we're gonna go like that, add the hot pink right there. And then we go into the second color there and we're gonna put it here and here. And then the lightest pink down here and right there. Now we're gonna sponge again. Now you can go right over, you can let them dry in between. It works a little bit better, but I'm just trying to get this video done for you guys. So, and as you see, if you just play around with the sponge, you'll get the colors in how you want. And I'm noticing that this one is just not getting down into that corner. So I'm gonna kind of pull away from the skin there a little bit so I can get down there better, like that. And then when it starts to lift, you see the color lifting there a little bit? You know, that's where you just wanna work with it. So I am going to let these dry. I'm gonna do two more coats. Then I'm going to top coat it with my Sesh Feet just to dry it up so it's ready for the stamping. And then I will return and show you guys that step. I will get one of them done on the other toe and I'll be back to show you. Okay, now I got the color that I want, but I'm just gonna show you the cleanup. I'm just gonna use a Q-tip here, dipped in pure acetone and we're gonna clean around the skin. Be careful not to get too close to the skin. You can leave it like, you know, kind of close to the skin, the, the paint itself, only because once you take, you know, a shower, it's gonna come right off around those corners. So I always like to just on toes, just get as close as I can when I'm working with sponging like this, just because if you start working with brushes and everything, you really kind of mess it up, so. But it's pretty simple, just use, you know, like I said, a. Q-tip here in acetone and clean it up. Getting all around like that. And then get another one. And just 
clean it up pretty simple, not too hard. And like I said, you do want to get the basic off, you know, the, the large amount that I have on here. But you do not have to worry about getting so close to this, the cuticle area just because it's going to wipe off your beautiful design. And I just don't want to mess that up because toes, like I said, second you take a shower, it comes off. So, so it doesn't really stay on the skin. That's what I like about polish is it really won't stay on skin. And toes, it's so hard to get into those little, you know, cracks and everything. And you don't want to get into your design and ruin it and be taking the design off too. So if you could pull back your skin a little bit just to get in there, do the best you can. Like that. And then I'm going to go across the top here. And I love that gradient look. If you see before the top coat is on, the magic all happens when you put the top coat on. That's what I love is it's got that beautiful gradient look. Now you see I do have some around the cuticle area, but don't worry about that. And then I'm gonna show you real quick the magic when you put on the top coat. Now you see, I'm gonna draw in just a little bit better so you can see. Now see how it's a gradient and it's kind of sandy looking, but watch when you do the top coat. This is what I love. This is where all the magic happens. And it just smooths it all down and you lose that gradient look I mean, you keep the gradient look, but you lose that uh, like sandpaper look. Totally lose that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then I'm going to go like this as long as I got a glove on and just go around the corners because I got a lot. But you want to use a lot of the top coat because this top coat dries pretty fast. So the thicker, the better. I drop this and I don't want to have any dust or dirt when I put that back in there. Then just go across the top like that. We are going to be going another coat, but I just wanted to... Um, just show you guys the magic when you when you work with uh, sponging, how beautiful it is once you put that top coat on. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that is that with these, and I am going to let them dry now so that I can work on doing the, the um, stamping, but I will work on doing the lines on the baby toes for now. I did get a new toe ring, another one off of line, this beautiful heart, sterling silver. Love it. Love sticking with sterling silver because my uh, butterfly ring I had, the green and blue one, was beautiful and matched with some of my designs, but sometimes it didn't. So I just wanted to stick this year with silver. And um, I do have a couple more coming. One I think is a light lavender pink. That what I will only wear when I do like pink designs and stuff because these are going to be basically the two that I will always wear. I love toe rings. All right. Enough talking. Let me get started on the lines. Okay, now I've got the lines going. It's kind of got like that, uh, uh, like a zebra look, uh, you know, animal-like print. It just looks cool. I love it. So that's what I've done for the baby toes. I did leave one open to show you. So I will draw in. It is so easy with these liner brushes. Anybody can do these and look like you're an artist. So I'm just going to get some paint on this brush. And very simply... Just set my uh, brush down, go to one side and pull. You set the brush down on the other side and pull. And go to the other side, set it down and lift. Isn't that cool? How quick and easy. And if you want your line to go out a little farther, I'm going to bring this out a little farther and, whoops, and lift. And see, I mean, it's just so simple and fun, yet people think that you're a complete artist, you know? Working with those liners are just really awesome. I'm really glad they came out with those for people to be able to do, you know, fancy art like this. Let me draw just a little bit more. I had some black paint on here getting it all over my phone. <laughs> Thank God I have a cover on it. But anyways, so that's that look. Now we're going to be stamping the big toes. I'm going to get one done and I will return. All right. So on the big toe, I did Love is All You Need and I have done the kind of tiger striping or animal print striping around it. Isn't that cool looking? So now we're going to work on this one. And I've chose the saying um, right here where it says, happy girls are the prettiest. That's the one I'm going to use. So let's get set up here and ready. I am going to get the black paint out and go over that saying there. A little bit of paint there. And we're going to scrape and I'm gonna go one more time, only because it's leaving a little residue, like that. And then I'm gonna pick it up. Now you're gonna end up getting some of the other writing right there, if you see that. 
So I'm just gonna real quick take my stamp, my scraper and just go like this and pick up whatever I don't need. Isn't that awesome how you can do that? You can just pick it up. Now I've got that beautiful, right there it says, happy girls are the prettiest, okay? So what I'm going to do, is that how it shows? Well, it's backwards on here because on my foot it's gonna go on right. So when you see through here, and let's see if I can draw in even closer for you guys. So you can see that when I, when I actually stamp it on. So through there, Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you kind of can. I'm going to do it at an angle here. We're going to set it down and just roll it onto the foot. Make sure you give some pressure to it. I love the Born Pretty stamper. It is great. And then you see, look at that. Isn't that cool? Happy girls are the prettiest. And then we're just going to fix this little corner here because I think I might have had the plate or the foot just a little bit wet there. So there's that, and then we're gonna do those little lines in it. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom there, get a little bit of paint on my liner, and I'll do two down in here. So I'm just gonna go one. Wait, we need a little bit more paint. <laughs> Didn't get enough paint on it. Okay, so I'm gonna set it down and go like that, and then I'm gonna come to this side and go like that. And then over here, I will do one line like that and come this way with it. And then I'll just go over here like that and maybe come back real lightly with another one like that. But it gives it that animal print look and I really like that. So we'll draw away here. And I am getting paint. <laughs> this one's really been a messy one here. I'm getting it on my phone. I gotta be careful. Thank God I have a glass cover over my phone so that it doesn't ruin it. But okay, there is what I have got going there. Isn't that adorable? Absolutely love it. Now, it's very important when you do stamp designs and stuff like that, that you do wait for it to completely dry before you try to put a top coat because it will smudge. So we're gonna let these dry and then I'm gonna do that Northern Lights, that beautiful Northern Sparkle to it. I'm gonna put that over. I'm gonna get some done and I will come back in to show you guys that part after I get a few of them done. All right, so now I've got the Northern Lights on pretty much all of them, except for this toe here, I was letting it dry. And then I also got all of these top coated with such feet, except for this one. But I'm gonna draw in just to show you, it is so hard to see that sparkle, but you see it there? It's just so, you know, just so small, so minute, but so beautiful, especially when certain lights hit it, it's gorgeous. And I haven't even top coated this yet with the such feet. But I'm going to show you real quick the Northern Lights when you put it on. Now, for some reason, this particular bottle, I'm very disappointed in this bottle. I don't know why, but it doesn't have very much of the glitter in it. The other ones I've bought have had a lot, so I don't know why this one doesn't. But anyways, you want to go over your design very carefully, even though it's dry, very carefully because it can still smudge it. So you want your coat to be thick when you put it on. Just let it drip like this, and very lightly, you just want to roll over the design like this you don't want to pull any of this and smudge it so you're going to be just floating over the top with your design and do it kind of thick because this stuff these type of things do dry faster when they're a top coat this is actually a top coat even though it's got the glitter and it is a top coat so there you go whoops hopefully you've seen that dang it and just go over it like that and let's see if i can get closer to the camera where you can see the glitter see the glitter so, see, it is very minute, but just beautiful. And especially when certain lights hit it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now, I am going to top coat everything now with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And I'll come in and show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, I am all done. And look at this one. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. And it is going to look so great with my Fashion Friday's outfit of the day. This is more of a sporty look. And like I said, you'll understand more when you see the outfit. But look at how great it goes with the nails too. Oh my God, this one is so cute. I love the sponge look to this. It almost looks like I'm using those polishes that change color with mood. Like when you're hot and cold. It's almost like what it looks like. And I just love it. I love sponging and I love the way this look turned out. And I cannot wait to show you guys the outfit on Friday. This is going to be a sporty look. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely try it out in this color or your favorite colors. 
Use those stamping plates. They are so fun and easy to work with. And remember, happy girls are the prettiest. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. Thank you.